And as you can see, I've got pH 7 uh, in this cup right now. And if you look at the display, it's showing pH 7. I did a, a two-point calibration yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. Take this cup out. I'm going to put pH 10 in. Let's start. Sensors equilibrating, and then eventually it should it should get to a point where it will stop. It'll be very close. Okay, I'm going to stop that. This cup will. Rinse the probe again. And unfortunately I don't have a third cup, so but down here I have pH 4. So I'm going to remove the sensor and put it in here. And hit start. You can see it's, it, it is stabilizing, but my movement is not helping. So we're down around a little bit before. Okay. Put that back in the holder. Stop that. I'm going to keep it clean. Any other? Part I want to show is over here we have your two burettes, 10, 10 milliliters, and they, I have a bottle in the back here of just distilled water, and I'm going to pump that through. I have the exit ports over in this stand here, and I'm just going to show that they are operating. And I'm going to tell it to rinse the burette, say OK, drive 2, so it should be this one, I'm going to say start, and if you can see the burette is pumping, and if you look over here you can see that there, there is a liquid coming through the ionized water. I'll let it complete its cycle on its own. Once that burette pushes all the way up to the top of the stop, and then at this point it will go back down, refilling the burette from the distilled water. I'm going to let that complete, then I'm going to go and do the other one the same way. Okay. I'm going to modify it this time because I don't want 
drive two, I want drive one. So I'm going to say modify and it changed to drive one and I'm going to say start. And you can see this gear right is doing the same thing. And over here we have the liquid being pumped out through here. And then now that one will refill. This is all totally programmable. You can set it to however uh, many cycles you want. So if you wanted 50 mils, you could set it to do that and it would do that same operation five times to make the 50 mils. As you can see from here, you can operate all of the sensors, the, the barrettes, the stirrers, everything independently, give you reports and also your methods, your setup, your samples, all of that, and your run key. All that's in here, methods are stored. All of the original methods from Metler are stored on here, and there are some user methods that may be helpful that they can use too.